Dead for a dollar. Movie review. Movie screenplayed and directed by Walter Hill from the story by himself and Matt Harris and produced by Jeff Sackman, Barry Meyerowitz, Kirk D'Amico, Jeremy Wall, Neil Dunn, and Carolyn McMaster. Cinematography by Lloyd Ahern 11, edited by Phil Norton and music composed by Xander Rijinsky. Starring Christoph Waltz, Willem Dafoe, and Rachel Brosnahan. Legendary director Walter Hill inspired a western riff, featuring Christoph Waltz as a stoic gunslinger caught up in a complicated kidnapping plot, steeped in the tropes and conventions of that filmmaker's best work. The film takes place in 1897 in Chihuahua, New Mexico Territory. There a wealthy businessman Nathan Price's wife Rachel Price, who is allegedly being held for ransom by Elijah Jones, an African-American army deserter in Mexico. A veteran bounty hunter Max Borland, the role done by Christoph Waltz, is hired by Nathan Price to find and bring back his wife, Rachel. He is forced to face his sworn enemy. Joe Gribbins, a professional gambler and outlaw he imprisoned years ago. Director Hill's film lacks a basic level of craft and focus, the combination of some amateur camera work, digital photography, and cheap production design makes it hard to beat the fact that you're watching actors on set. The Twisted Story, which stars Willem Dafoe as a crooked criminal with a bone, follows the exploits of Waltz's bounty hunter Max Borland, tasked with bringing back the wife, played by Rachel Brosnahan, of a wealthy businessman, role done by Hamish Linklater, captured by a military hermit named Elijah Jones, role done by Brandon Scott and taken deep into dangerous Mexican territory, at least that's what was asked for. The film is generous with its twists and turns and alternating allegiances, but there are too many characters, and a messy, untidy setting, not to mention Hill's pension for fades and fades, that constantly throw off rhythm and make the film feel endless. Dead for a Dollar is also the talk of the town, and not in a good way, the dialogue is repetitive and a bit bland. Waltz's least inspired turn in years helps matters, he's unusually disinterested here, consistently set in a blank expression, instead recalling his days making a Tarantino western. Defoe is a lot of fun, though his character doesn't quite match the indifference, while Rachel Brosnahan does a great job and the somewhat understated part works well. Fortunately, the film finally kicks into high gear and delivers a massive, booming shootout that delivers on at least some of the promise we associate with a director who has made westerns as iconic as long riders. As a harmless, imaginative piece of fun, however, the rigor of the filmmaking and the decision to pay homage with little persuasion suggest that the once great director may be over the hill.